Welcome to the Cognizant Platform product tour, where I will show you how top sales professionals use Cognizant to connect with their ideal buyer in target accounts or verticals much easier and faster than ever before. Let's say I am prospecting using Sales Navigator and I have a list of target accounts I need to go after. I will quickly click into one of these accounts and choose to see decision makers only. I'll then limit the geo just for the sake of this example. And what I will be able to see are all these prospects that work within this account that are director VP level. However, what I won't see are emails or phone numbers that will allow me to get through to these people straight away. And this is exactly where Cognizant comes in. So if I just expand the extension on the right hand side, I will see that out of the 24 people on this second page of my Sales Navigator results, 15 have a mobile, 16 have a direct dial, and 23 have an email. A few things I want to draw your attention to. First of all, you can use these tags up here as filters, so you can just choose to see the prospects that have a mobile. But a few interesting things is that, first of all, Cognizm allows you to see which mobiles or numbers are on a do not call registry. These are national registries where people can opt out from receiving unsolicited phone calls. And Cognizm is the only provider that checks do not call lists in both US and Europe. Another thing you'll be able to see is that we have these little icons where that look like a diamond. This is our diamond data. So whenever you see a prospect that has this icon, it means that our research team has called the number and made sure that it is Bill that answers the phone. So these numbers are factually correct. They come with 98% accuracy and a 20% connect rate, which is seven times the industry average, which is around 3%. So by calling diamond data numbers, you will be able to get through with much greater confidence than before. And another thing you'll see is that I can also view which contacts are within my CRM and which ones are not. So from here, all I need to do is simply choose the contacts that I want. So for example, I will choose a few of these diamond contacts that are not in my CRM, as well as some that match my other criteria. And from here, I will just click export to Salesforce as lead and contact. We have integrations with the biggest CRMs as well as sales tools like Salesloft, Outreach, and so on. So you'll be able to get this data wherever you work in a few clicks ready for you to action it straight away. Depending on your workflow, as a salesperson, you might choose to work in Sales Navigator using the Chrome extension or in our web app. In any case, you will get access to our database, whatever tool or access point you decide to use. So once you're in the Cognizant web app, you can see a list of filters on the left hand side, contact and company filters, depending on what you want to find, whether accounts or entries in these accounts. So if you have and are working with target accounts, what you can do is you can type in some of the domains that you are targeting, or you can simply upload a CSV of all the domains that you're targeting. On the other hand, if you are going after specific verticals or industries, you can specify the industries you want to target, the locations, the company sizes, and so on. For the sake of this example, I will load a saved search that I have previously created for this video. So as you can see, I'm excluding CEOs from the search. I am looking for senior leaders and middle managers in sales and operations departments and companies that have anywhere from 200 to 1,000 employees in the computer software and IT and services industries in the North American region. And as you can see, 31,000 contacts match this criteria. Now from here, I can choose to filter this down further. So for example, if I have a phone first approach to prospecting, I can choose to only see the contacts that have a mobile or direct number. And at Cognizant, we really focus on mobiles because this is the way you can get through to contacts even if they work from home. A few things are really interesting. Just as you can see on our Chrome extension in the web app, you can also see if a contact number is on a do not call list, which are national registries where people can opt out from receiving 
unsolicited phone calls. And you can also see which contacts have been phone verified. So anytime you see a contact that has this diamond icon on the side, it means that our team has um, called the number, made sure it's the right person answering the phone. So if you call Mike, you will get through to Mike with 98% accuracy. Again, Diamond Data comes with 20% connect rate, which is seven times the industry average. If you have a prospect that's really important for you, so this is usually what salespeople do when they have this account-based approach. So there's a prospect in your target account that's really important for you and you want to make sure you have the right mobile. What you can do is go on their profile and ask to Diamond verify them. And in two working days, our team will come back to you with the correct mobile number that you can then use to connect with them. And from here, all you need to do is just select a page or select a few of the prospects that you want to add to your CRM or sales engagement tool. As you can see, I have linked Salesforce here, so I can already see which of these contacts are in my Salesforce, but I will choose a few that are not in there and seem like a good fit. And then I will save them to a list from where I will be then able to push these contacts directly to my CRM or sales engagement platform like Outreach or Sales Loft. There are additional filters you can use in the web app, like for example, technologies or event triggers. If you would like to see, for example, if someone has joined the job in the past three months or past month and make sure that you have context when you're reaching out to them. Also, you can see if a specific company has raised funding or is currently hiring just so you can see they have the budget to invest. So really there's a lot you can do here. We have many filters you can go in and type in to really drill down, find the exact people that match your ideal customers in our database and then easily get them in the tools you use every day. What I can see on the screen right now are 27,000 companies that match these criteria that I have entered. And what I want to show you is how you can use Cognizant's contextual data to prioritize the accounts you go after and the contacts you go after by ensuring you are first targeting the companies that are showing intent to buy. So if I just go in the intent tab, I will now see that 75 out of the 27,000 companies that I just generated actually show intent in these five topics. The topics that you see are chosen on a user level. So when you're setting up your intent, you will be able to choose five topics out of 8,000 topics powered by Bambora. And each user will get to have their own unique topics that they want to track. The intent data engine, as I mentioned, is powered by Bambora and it comes from 4,000 reputable publications where B2B buyers actually go to find information when they are searching for a product or a service. So it's all very relevant. On the left-hand side, what you will also be able to see is a search score. This will show you how far down the buyer journey someone is or how strong of an intent they show. So you can set this up based on the types of campaign or the type of outreach you're trying to do. You can set up your search score and look for companies that are showing stronger intent or not that strong of an intent. So if they're really early in the buyer cycle or they're already making a decision and making comparison between solutions. I'll choose the entire search score. So there are 75 companies that are showing search score from 60 to 100. And what I will do is I will select the page and find contacts in these companies. This will take me back to Prospector where I can also specify the job titles or the seniorities and departments that I want to go after. So I'll just choose senior leadership and middle management in the marketing and sales departments. So in these 20 companies that I have chosen using Intent Data, I now have 286 decision makers working in marketing or sales that I can try and contact. And for each of these decision makers, of course, you will get all the data that you need, like mobiles, emails, direct numbers, as well as company highlights and information. So all of this is available. And once you're happy with your search, with your results, you can choose the contacts that you want to push to your CRM or sales engagement platform, and the data will be immediately ready for you to action it. So intent data within Cognizant is a great way to not only find which companies are currently showing interest in a particular topic, product, solution, but also to operationalize the data, which is usually a big problem because you will be able to find the contacts within these accounts that are currently showing interest. 
that can make a decision and that you can contact in a particular location, therefore making it so much easier for you to um, get those meetings booked and speed up your sales cycle because ultimately you will be getting in touch with decision makers and companies that are looking to buy right now.